Scoring Strategies for the TOEFL IBT by Bruce Sterling. Video 1. Hi, my name is Bruce Sterling. This video course is the companion to my best selling TOEFL book, Scoring Strategies for the TOEFL IBT A Complete Guide. Available from Amazon.com, Barnes and Noble, and Novapress.net. The app version is available from BenchPrep.com. Together, the book, the app, and this video course will help give you the scoring strategies you need for a TOEFL success. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. How is scoring strategies for the TOEFL IBT different? Good question. Before I started writing scoring strategies for the TOEFL IBT, I re-engineered the TOEFL test. Re-engineer means you take something apart, piece by piece, in order to learn how it works. That's what I did with the TOEFL test. I studied how TOEFL integrates linguistically, rhetorically, and pedagogically. What I learned is this. TOEFL is all arguments. That means to get a high TOEFL score, you must have a basic understanding of argument strategies. Let's take a closer look at how TOEFL integrates arguments for testing purposes. TOEFL has four test sections. Reading, listening, speaking, and writing. In the reading section, you will read three passages. The passages are all written arguments. In the listening section, you will listen to four lectures and three dialogues. All are verbal arguments. In the speaking section, you will construct six verbal arguments. In the writing section, you will write two essays. An essay is a written argument. Add it up, and that is 18 arguments. Why does TOEFL use arguments to test English language proficiency? Because TOEFL is recreating the American college experience, a system of education that has its roots in ancient Greece. Back then, argument development and analysis was the foundation of the educational system. Today, argument development and analysis is the foundation of the American educational system. That means to get a high TOEFL score, you need essential argument strategies. That is what I will teach you in Scoring Strategies for the TOEFL IBT. I do so using a visual learning system based on an argument map I created and tested in TOEFL classrooms. That argument map is called G3TIC-C. In this video course, you will use G3TIC-C when learning argument strategies for all reading, listening, speaking, and writing tasks. Let's take a look at how fast and easy G3TIC-C is to use when writing a TOEFL independent essay. First, we need a prompt. A prompt introduces the topic you will write about. Let's use this one. We need zoos. Do you agree or disagree? Use examples and reasons to support your argument. As you know, all arguments begin with a general statement. A general statement is also called an introduction. In an independent essay, the general statement contains my opinion, or thesis. What is my opinion? Do we need zoos? Yes, that is my opinion, my thesis. Personally, I think that we need zoos. This general statement is the start of my essay. Next, I will support my opinion with three body paragraphs. As you know, a body paragraph has three parts. Those parts are T for transition or topic sentence, I for illustration, C for conclusion. In my essay, this is body paragraph one, transition, illustration, and conclusion. Paragraph one follows my general statement. Next, I will write two more body paragraphs using the same three-part structure. Transitions are underlined, illustrations are in red, conclusions are in bold. Finally, I need a conclusion. Conclusions are easy. I simply repeat my opinion. When I put it all together, it looks like this. As you can see, G3TIC-C is a fast and easy way to visualize and write a five-paragraph essay. Best of all, there is no guessing. 
you know what to write, how to write it, where to write it, when to write it, and why. The result is a proficient essay. That is what the TOEFL writing raters look for. A proficient essay is a perfect 5 out of 5. G3 Tick C, however, will help you do more, much more. In this video course, you will use G3 Tick C to analyze and answer all reading, listening, speaking, and writing tasks. In other words, 18 arguments, one strategy. This integrated approach to preparing for TOEFL is unique to scoring strategies for the TOEFL IBT. I call it strategy recycling. By recycling G, 3 tick C, you will spend less time learning strategies and more time practicing. This, in turn, will help you maximize scoring on test day. That is how scoring strategies for the TOEFL IBT is different. That is how you play and beat the TOEFL game. Please note that this video series teaches TOEFL strategies only. This video series does not provide practice questions or practice tests. For practice questions and practice tests, see the print and app versions of scoring strategies for the TOEFL IBT. See my book, Practice Tests for the TOEFL IBT, as well. If you have any questions, please contact me, Bruce Sterling, TOEFL Pro at Facebook.com. Thanks for watching.